taught me a bit about coming to England, how it happened. And, uh, you know, I even know your international cap had a big part of it as well. So can you talk us through all that? Yeah, of course. I think, um, I think you know, for, for me, at all, you know, the idea kind of sprung up in like, while I was at camp, you know, so the idea sprung up while I was at camp and like with my agent and even my brother, you know, speaking to them about it. Uh, and then I later found out that I would need to play in the in the, the upcoming game to, you know, be able to go to Barnsley. And, you know, at the time, like, people asked me, like, oh, like, were you thinking about that going to the game? I mean, if I'm being honest, like, no, I was thinking about getting my first cap. <laughs> it was my first cap. So I was, I was uh, when I was in the game, so I, I, I obviously got my first cap and I was super, super excited. You know, it was an honor to, you know, finally be able to, you know, get part of, get, take a big step, take an achievement that I've kind of been searching for my entire life. And, you know, I was super happy to be able to play in that game. And then, you know, after the game, I spoke with my agent, spoke with my brother about the opportunity and everything like that. And, you know, like after that, the next, the next day I was on a plane to Barnsley. <laughs> so, so, you know, everything kind of moved really quickly, uh, you know, from getting my first cap and from, you know, always watching, you know, English football to, you know, now potentially being able to, you know, play in a, in a match with Barnsley. And, I think it was great. You know, I flew here. The weather's different, a little bit colder here, a little bit cloudier here. But I mean, obviously, I still enjoy it. And, you know, the team's great. The team team was middle of the table. Team's been team team. The guys were all great. The staff were all phenomenal. Everyone's super helpful. And the, the community of Barnsley in general, everyone seems super friendly, even though I haven't been able to actually go and really see many of them or even in stadiums or anything. So but when I go to the supermarket, sometimes, you know, people wave or they'll say hello and everyone seems super friendly. And, but anyways, on that, like, it, w- it was great for me. I thought I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to kind of, you know, challenge myself, to grow as a player, to uh, experience a different kind of style of football, a different, you know, kind of environment, different level for me to kind of grow on and grow on to test myself and grow as a player, grow as a person. Um, you know, Barnes, I think it, it's done everything for that I've kind of uh, wanted. I've been pushed. I've been challenged. I've, I've learned a lot. I've you know, from from my brother, from, you know, all the coaches here, from the players here, from every single training, every single game, I, I've learned. And that's kind of what the main thing that I wanted to do. And then, of course, for me, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to come in and help the team. I wanted to, you know, I'm a, I'm a competitive person. I love winning. I love to, I love to do everything. So I wanted to help put the team in the best position to win along with me growing. And I think uh, the team has been doing very well. I mean, now we're in playoffs and in my first game, I played Chelsea. I play, I played Chelsea, you know, after seeing these guys on TV, I'm like, wow, I'm warming up next to, next to Giroud. What is it? <laughs> you know, like I'm scratching my head, like, wow, I, I only thought I would see you on TV and, you know, and I'm playing next to Conte. I'm competing for a, a header with Zuma and I'm seeing all these things. I'm like, wow, this is, you know, it's honestly a dream come true. It's, it, it was crazy, you know, and especially in a short period of time and a truly blessing, uh, blessing for me and a big experience. But I think, uh, yeah, and then come to come to the season, you know, now we're in playoffs. Now we're doing really well. And, you know, now we were pushing to, you know, potentially be promoted to the Premier League. And I think the team is, you know, very, very capable of doing that. And, you know, we have the right tools, but, you know, we just got to keep, uh, we have to keep going because the season's not over and we still have a lot of work to do. But no, it's been a it's crazy experience, crazy experience for me to say the least. And I just can't even think about how how much it's impacted me and how how crazy it's meant to, for my entire life. Yeah, it's hard to look back when things are hitting you so fast. Really, I, I'm sure you're just being hit like with moment after moment. Every day is interesting. I'm sure, um, but yeah, I can confirm as a northerner in England, they're the, they're nicer up north. They're uh, <laughs> friendly people. So you Oklahoma guys, you you like it there, but yeah, um, I mean. Like, you know, having those experiences in, in the championship, how are you sort of staying focused, you know? Because, I mean, you, you know, as a U.S. athlete, like, it is easy to get hyped up, isn't it, as well? So, like, how much do you sort of take it in, like, what's around you, but how much do you also sort of block it out and, and just focus on what makes you you as an athlete? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, uh, I kind of filter it out. Because, I mean, as, uh, as I've kind of always grown up, I've known what I wanted my end goal to be. I've known that my path would be different. I've known that, like, you know, what I want to do. And I have that vision in me. I don't let all the other, you know, extra noise, whether it be articles or other people saying, you know, kind of get in the way with that. I, I, I look to the people around me. I look at the players, the staff, you know, myself. And I think of how can I grow? How can I reach that achievement? How can I reach the highest of heights? And 
I ignore, I ignore all that other noise and do what I can do to, you know, make next training better than the one I last. You know, I, I go into a training session. I work that training session to how can I make myself better for tomorrow's training session? How can I make myself better for the next game? And I kind of take them things step by step by step and, you know, not letting any of the outside noise kind of influence me or disturb me or anything like that. And so for me, it's just kind of how I can grow as a player. How can I continue to grow? And that's kind of been the whole motivation for me to kind of stay focused is I know the end goal and I know that I'm nowhere near that I want to be and I have to just continue to push and grind out every single day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, as a, to, to contradict myself, I'm going to ask the million dollar question, just say, what do you sort of see your end goal like? Um, it, it, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk in the summer. I don't need any specifics, but just tell me like what your you know, end goal, do you want to play in the Premier League in the future someday? Like what's your, your feeling? No, I mean, I think for now, I, you know, right now I just kind of focus on what I can do with Barnsley, what, yeah. you know, with the next game, the next few games, hopefully getting the playoffs, you know, pushing into the Premier League and, you know, doing, doing anything that I can with the team right now. And then, you know, in the future, I've kind of told myself, I just want to grow. I want to grow and, you know, get through these experiences. And I think, uh, you know, once that time comes and it comes, you know, and I can go back and I can evaluate myself and see where I've grown, you know, where I, where I be and then, you know, where my career takes me. And, you know, when that time comes, it comes. And right now, I just kind of focus on what I can do now to put myself in the best position for a better tomorrow. And Bright, what do you think about your bro season? Like, I know you've been celebrating it a lot on, on social media and that, like, um, but what have you made of him sort of as a player and, and how he's grown in the last few months in England? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 really great to watch, you know, you've seen how he's grown, you know, and how much he's improved certain aspects of his game and how he's 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 always hungry to, you know, to push and get to another level. And that's 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 all you can ask for, because, you know, that at the end of the day, like like, yeah, he's he's scoring goals left and right. But it's like, man, it's scary because he can he can do so much more, too. So I can't wait to see what the future holds for him because I, you know, I have faith that he'll raise his, raise his game to even a higher level than yeah. it is now. He's not that skinny kid that I saw on his Instagram as well. I saw one of his pictures growing up. I mean, it must be weird, like your baby brother, like he's he's a he's a man now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. He's about to be 21. I've been taller than Bright for some time now. <laughs> oh, but you're, you're not bigger. <laughs> You're not bigger this way. <laughs> <laughs> I still got like 20 something on him right now. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's been really great to watch. I, I'm, you know, it makes my day, it makes the whole family so happy to, uh, to watch him and see how much he's grown. You know, at the end of the day, he's the, he's the little baby. He's the, the baby of the family. So, you know, it's, it's good to see him progress and he's, He's got he's got more more to come. So yeah. and and like Daryl, you're studying, right? So just tell us a bit about that. Like, you know, doing your studies on the side, like that's not always what traditionally people expect of footballers. Yeah, no, but uh, you know, for me, for, you know, education's always been a big part of my life. I mean, when I was younger, you know, I would be held out of training sessions because, you know, you have to do your homework, you have a test, you have to do this, you know. Family have always uh you know, put education first before anything else. And I think, you know, it's kind of been great. And for me, I, I left university early. And, you know, one of the things that I, my family, you know, everyone wanted to do is, you know, I wanted to continue to, you know, further my education because I know that football won't be forever. I know that I'm not going to be able, I would love to play till I'm 75, but I don't think my body will allow me to do that. <laughs> and, and I recognize that, you know, after I, there, you know, there's things I want to you know, I want to do after and, you know, I think a degree could, you know, help that. And so, you know, now I do all my schooling online and I, I, I come home from training, you know, I still do homework, I still do my tests and assignments and on the side, I think it's, I think it's a great, it's a great experience for me to, you know, be able to, you know, do both things, be able to, you know, live my dream of being a professional soccer player and then also, you know, grow as a, you know, grow and get my degree and kind of as a person and set myself up for the future. What is your degree in, though? Like, what what are we talking here? What are we expecting from Daryl? Like, <laughs> uh, degrees in finance, actually. Okay. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm a numbers guy. I like being, I, I like numbers. And our family are either doctor or numbers. Right? Me and my younger sister and my dad are, or my mom are numbers. My dad 
my you know, other sisters like papers they're doctors and they do their stuff i stay away from that <laughs> i stay away from that stuff. there's no chance i'm ever no i stay away from that stuff big numbers guys so no i enjoy it as well so it's a uh, it's also interesting because i mean i love learning i love growing as a as a human being and i think education is a big part of it, a big part of that now respect that and and sort of to wrap it up i you know i saw on your instagram that like life's about sacrifices uh, that's like the message you put out is that sort of like you know a family sort of you know ethos really that you guys have uh i don't know necessarily about the family i mean everybody kind of lives about lives around that but for me it's kind of always how i've been how i've kind of lived my life is you everyone kind of has goals everyone wants to have things that they uh they want to achieve in life and you have to understand that a lot of the time about to do all those goals you know you're gonna have to sacrifice one thing for another to get those goals and for me, that's kind of what kind of keeps me driven when I'm kind of going through a hard, you know, a hard time. And it's kind of the message that I like other people to know. So, you know, maybe that training session, sometimes, you know, you're running and you're tired and you're in a game and you're kind of thinking about the greater picture. And you're like, you know what, I'm making this maybe sacrifice right now to kind of to achieve the, you know, greater cause, the greater goal that I want in life. And I think everything I do, I kind of think about it like, going through a hard time that I'm making that sacrifice of going through that hard time to achieve for something, to achieve a, a certain goal. And that's kind of how I've modeled that, you know, kind of how I, how I go through my life. Yeah. Respect. I think the sky's the limit, mate. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you live. I'm uh, I'll probably get down to one of your games soon. Uh, I was at the uh, Chelsea debut as well. So I've seen that. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of respect for you. And yeah, hopefully I'm watching you in the playoffs. <laughs> Um, you know, you got experience in the playoffs. Let's get it done. Let's get Premier League to Barnsley. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yes, awesome. Well, guys, that's all I need for today. So thanks for your patience and like and then jumping in. I hope you enjoyed the interview and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll send you the end result. It should look really good. All right. Yeah, appreciate it. Problem. Thank you so much. And my um, my best friend's a Barnsley fan as well. So he's been like he's been getting at me to to jump on with you guys and he, he just sends his best as well he says well done so yeah he's um he's, he's loving watching you guys play at the minute and as you played great football against Chelsea as well and I know you're playing great football every week and and yeah it must be great to be part of all that yeah no it's great phenomenal for sure yeah awesome you're, you're making That's a lot great. of people happy even if you don't realize it man it's great and yeah um yeah it's, it's great to great to meet you both it's great to meet you both so awesome oh, yeah cheers you. bright Cheers for sorting All out. Right. Cheers. Well. All right. Have Cheers. a good one. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Yeah. Speak soon. Bye. Peace. Bye. Peace out.